first pole of our flag is the symbol of life. The second pole is a symbol of our belief in the eternal life. The third pole is made in honor and remembrance of the veteran departing our ranks who gave a portion of life for the defense of our country to attain a peace throughout the world. The fourth pole represents our weaker nature. For as American citizens trusting in God, it is to him we turn in times of peace, as well in times of war, for his divine guidance. The fifth fold is a tribute to our country, for in the words of Stephen Decatur, our country, in dealing with other countries, may she always be right, but it is still our country, right or wrong. The sixth fold is for where our hearts lie. It is with our heart that we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The seventh pole is a tribute to our armed forces, for it is through the armed forces that we protect our country and our flag against all her enemies, whether they be found within or without the boundaries of our republic. The eighth pole is a tribute to the one who entered into the valley of the shadow of death, that we might see the light of day, and to honor Mother, for whom it flies on Mother's Day. The ninth pole is a tribute to womanhood, for it has been through their faith, love, loyalty, and devotion that the character of the men and women who have made this country great were molded. The tenth pole is a tribute to Father, for he too has given his sons and daughters for the defense of our country since they were first born. The eleventh fold, in the eyes of a Hebrew citizen, represents the lower portion of the seal of King David and King Solomon, and glorifies in their eyes the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The twelfth fold, in the eyes of a Christian citizen, represents an emblem of eternity, and glorifies in their eyes the God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The thirteenth fold completes the folding with the stars uppermost and reminding us of our national motto, In God We Trust. And now, we'll enjoy some patriotic songs from the Heralds of Harmony.
freedom in this great land exists because patriots, past and present, selflessly served our country. Tampa is home to two major military establishments, the McDill Air Force Base and the James A. Haley Veterans Hospital. Our community is fortunate to have so many heroes walking among us. Several of the heralds have served. Where are you guys? Our next number is an American Armed Forces medley. Now, uh, I don't know, have we got somebody up there that can work the house lights? Give me a wave if you can. What I would like to do is have the house lights on, and we're going to ask, when you hear, if you're a veteran or a serving, someone serving in the active military, when you hear your theme song being played, we'd like you to stand and salute. We're going to honor all the armed forces, and we'd like you to stand and salute when you hear your theme song being played.
than to have the opportunity to be a lone bugler playing taps, a simple song, but in remembrance of fallen comrades. Perhaps Abraham Lincoln said it best during the Gettysburg Address. We here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that this government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from this earth.
I'd also like to thank uh, Louis Rivera and the catering staff for that fantastic meal that they did this evening. Uh, Brother Billy Garrett, 32nd degree. Brother uh, Joe Tarico, 32nd degree. The, the brothers who put on the um, child ID program. Uh, for everybody who, who helped advertise it and for, for promoting it, I thank you so much. And I thank all of you especially for coming out tonight to help us celebrate Flag Day. Uh, Masons are patriotic and we love our country and the flag for which it stands. Thank you for coming out, standing out there in that heat and uh, waving the flag out there on Memorial Highway. Thank you so much. We couldn't have done this without you. So thank you for being here and uh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Also to the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office for the tra uh, traffic control, um, the Heralds of Harmony, and uh, AmeriCare Ambulance for, for their uh, crew that was out here this evening. And at this time, I would like to uh, call on illustrious M. Dean Levitt, 33rd degree, for our benediction. If you will please rise. Let us pray. Yes, we can say that we have a wonderful country because you can look up and you see that red stripe blood that was shedding for his country. Then you can see in the cloud sometime of the white, which that makes you think that it's still here and it's going to be pure and clean. And then, of course, we see those stars. And if you go at night, you can look up and you can see them twinkling. And I believe in saying, we're still here. We're still here. And oh, I'll tell you, it's wonderful to be and to have America. And I'd like to close this by saying, that God is with this nation because as you look up again it furrows sometime and it looks like it's just blowing out saying yes America is still alive may God bless you and God bless America Thank you very much. Have a safe drive home. Thank you. Good night.